Okay, Charlie. Um, I think that this example here next to, uh, I forgot his name again, Christian Walker, will, will, will help illustrate this idea um, that we're working on towards getting a stretch. And I was able to spend a lot of time with you. And I like how we're working on the idea of going back late with our hands. And we're doing a pretty good job of reaching and getting into the ground with our front foot. We're doing a pretty nice job there. You can see Walker here, how he gets that real late load with his hands. And it's very subtle. But you can see how he's still going back. It's almost like he's a walk away from my hands. You're getting closer. I think you could get a little bit more of a top half load. See how he's just getting a little bit more separation there. You're getting close. Now here's the move that I really want you to work on. And you've been working diligently. Um, but you know, I, I want to just continue to point things out to you. Now as you watch, at your toes down, now watch what happens as your heel comes down. See how you start moving forward? Now, as Walker's heel starts coming down, see how he started to engage his lower half a lot more? And you can see, watch his back elbow. See how he gets that real good independent of the hands as his heel's coming down? Sorry, I can't draw when it's split screen. Watch his belt buckle. There's a stretch right there. And as your heel comes down, see how we just start coming forward a little bit? Okay. Versus as Walker's heel comes down, you can see how he engages back elbow drop and his back hip. Now look at the difference in the position between if you look at his front elbow and you look at your front elbow, right? And you look at his weight and you look at your weight, you can see how you've just started to come forward a little bit with your weight and a little bit with your hands. And when I say hands, you know, really look at the elbow position as the front heel has struck, in fact, He's even getting down there. And you can see how he has maintained that stretch. Whereas your front heel comes down, we've just started to come forward. And I'm going to try some things with you that will help get you in that position. I think if you continue to work on a very low, late load with your hands and gaining ground with that front foot, Instead of getting there, we can get there. 